And look how cool it's looking, this moss, this cushion moss. Cushion, cushion moss. Cushion moss. <laughs> Here's the aquatorium after about two and a half weeks and I think it's safe to say it's looking pretty amazing like look at that limnophilia it's like a hulk plant or something it's just so green and I'm good at it so I've not done anything to the tanks and to set it up like it's almost like the mosses and all the plants at the top that the water running through are just purifying the water and just making it absolutely perfect I have tested it. it's absolutely fine because I've got a test kit now um there's more to come on water testing in another video shortly obviously there's a massive filter as well which is helping but anyway let me get you down so you can come and take a better look Okay, so what do we got here then? Look, first of all, we got Pancho. He's just chilling on that rock. Fish are doing really good. I don't think I've lost any, if I'm honest. Um, some of them go behind the rock sometimes and then pop back out, but that's fine. But at some stages, when I've fed, I've noticed that all the originals were there. <laughs> oh yeah, I put a post on my Instagram about this moss. And look how cool it's looking, this moss, this cushion moss. Cushion, cushion moss. Cushion moss. <laughs> Sprouting all these little little shoots, which people have told me is the way that it propagates. It's, when it's happy, it gets ready to spread, that's what it does. Really happy with it. I don't even know what this is. I found it as a weed at the side of um, a place I was visiting. Just pulled a bit out and put it in, and that's growing and spreading really well. This moss is covered in silk, because a silkworm has just taken refuge in there, and it's just covering it all in it. But I don't mind, that's cool. It's like, it's like part of a environment for it. It's nice that I provided it with a little home. Ivy's growing really well, ferns growing well. This is the emergent plant area that I planted. So we've got the hygrophila, uh, what is it, polysperma there. And then the hygrophila, Siamensis 53b, there. But other than that, it's pretty much just Boston ferns. And for me, it's great and all, but I want a little bit more variety at that top area. So let's go to the garden centre and look for some different kind of ferns to see what they've got there. Just have a look. Maybe some different ivy as well, like because that's all the same ivy, that and that. It's the same leaf pattern, isn't it? So let's just go for something else. I don't want to cram it full, but you know, just get, see if they've got any small pots there and just uh, find some little spaces for them. See what happens. Okay, me and Jakey, my son. Here he is. We're just at the garden centre to uh, collect some more ferns, as I just said, in the fish studio. Oh, what have we got? What have we got? Ferns. Yes. Why did we come here? Yeah, because we know. We wanted the ferns. Yeah, look at these yeah, ones. We wanted the ferns. Do you like these ones? Yeah, I like those ones. Yeah. That one. Should we get one? Yeah. Oh, we can get one of these ones. Well, it's the same, isn't it? No. Yeah, because I like... Should we pick this one? Done. That one That's the one. <laughs> You've got that. I love the look of this stuff. Might work, might not work. Only one way to find out. Okay, so I've just got back from the garden centre and I've got really good hoard. Look at this lot. So different fern types. I've got this long grass here. I'm not even sure if it will work, but I'm going to give it a go because you don't you don't learn these things unless you... What on earth is that? <laughs> anyway, you don't learn these things unless you give it a go. So uh, a different type of ivy there, like a triangular leaf. It looks a bit like a trident. Um, an autumn fern. Yeah, some tiny ones. This one looks like bulbitis, but it's not, obviously, because it's a terrestrial fern. Uh, I've also got some tropical moss because it's the best. I've got some new substrate to go in a future build. I've got an absolutely stunning guppy here that's going in one of the guppy tanks. Just all white with some little iridescent blues in it. A bit freaking out there. I'm going to put that back in a minute into the uh, paper bag. I've got a, a 
big hoard of Sirius stone because they had a shipment just in and I thought it was worth taking advantage of that and just grabbing as much as I can before it all goes. And for another new setup that's uh, not ready yet, uh, they'll be in a holding tank for the time being, five Japanese rice fish. Different to the rice fish I've got, I'm gonna put them in the tank right next to it and that should look really good. So yeah, let's get these fish in let's, and let's make a start on preparing all of these ferns. Now begins the task of where to put everything. I think what I'll do, I'll just time lapse this because I'm gonna be taking stuff in, out, in and out, and then we'll just chat about what I've done and why at the end. Well, that all went really, really well. So much more thick and dense. Look at that grass, look, that's the perfect place for it put it straight in there. I kind of knew that it would go well there. Covers up the little gap I had and also eventually will cover up that uh, top area here that's just sort of poking out the top. It looks a bit ugly. Now some of you might say, oh, there's too many different species and whatnot. It looks unnatural. And to that I say, Bleh! whatever. It looks good, I think. So that's the main thing. Just, just do whatever you want in your tanks. Don't worry about what other people think. If you like it, all good. Oh, look who's come out to say hello. <laughs> Such an attention seeker. What's he doing? I'm trying to do awesome slow-mos of the fish and just have to get in every shot, don't you? <laughs> Look at you! Look at you! Uh. <laughs> 